I love how we always freeze, freeze the frame. For a lot longer. Like we, we don't to. understand how cameras work. Hmm. Why do we forget how cameras work, guys? We should have just moved all around. You, did, you, yeah. you want to do another one? Yeah. They just then you pick one. <laughs> You know, you just pick a frame. Though. It's too late. We're so it's stupid. Done. It's done. Like, you know, the last time we played darts, we actually played darts Come on, on, in, guys. on the set of uh, Buddy System in my secret... <gasps> not going to tell you what it is. Um, and I was horrible. But you were horrible, but like you were really, really good at darts today. I wasn't seated. That's what it is. You're a seated I'm darter. I'm a seated darter. Huh. Okay. All right, so this mythical sauce... Oh, I got it turned the wrong way. It's got three nice labels, and here I am turning it this way. What a jerk. <laughs> I have um, a bunch of stuff to do. So, Lizzie, you won the competition yep. for the Good Mythical Sauce, which is, is chronicled in tomorrow's uh, GMC. Mm -hmm. And this is monkey gland sauce. Now, explain this, guys. What are you talking about? You squeeze a and monkey. And Kevin, you lost. <laughs> you lost. I did. So your I sauce is not here. No. My sauce... Does not exist. Your, your, your sauce was disposed of. <laughs> That's because Kevin's sauce was basically just ranch and ketchup. First of all, Lizzie. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Let's hear about it. That was just the base of my sauce. No. Sounds pretty good, right? Ranch and ketchup sounds like a great starter. Exactly. Then you know what else, else I put happened, in? Though. Everything else I like. Old Bay. Okay. Pretty still, good, right? Still, still good. Still good. Cholula. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Uh, went for a little margarita salt. All right. I'm not complaining yet. Okay. Pretty good, right? Uh... I went a little crazy. I did a little touch of vanilla. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> and um, what else did I put in there, Chase? I don't remember. Oh, and <laughs> a little bit who of, was the judge? A little bit of habanero. Uh, Casey. I think you went wrong with Matthew vanilla. And Morgan. I think so too. Yeah, the vanilla. Oh, yeah, the vanilla is very strong. So yeah. the editors voted. Yes. Yeah. And so, Lizzie, what is in your mythical sauce that we're uh, going to try? Now, Link. Now, just so we understand, you're going to own this sauce, but you're going to let me try it, right? I mean, I'll let it's, you try it's it. yours to own. That, it smells good, sweet, it's interesting. mustardy, barbecuey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got some uh, some mole paste in there, some mm. Worcestershire, garlic, ginger, lime. Um, pour yourself a little bit. I can't remember what else is in there. And then pour, and then I'll do some monkey's glands. Yeah, it doesn't pour so well, does it? Oh, and explain. <laughs> you know what? It's Whoa. coming out. So I'm it's like a that. paste. And explain monkey gland sauce, because I'm afraid to open it. So monkey gland sauce is from South Africa, and. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't get it, so I, I made this one, um, just off of like a recipe. But Does there it have is monkey glands? No actual monkey gland in it. Okay, M no monkey glands. If there is, then I didn't. So, but it, but is it mimicking but. what you will get from a monkey gland if you squeeze it? Uh, absolutely, yeah. You know. probably. So what does it have in it? There is uh, ketchup, onions, garlic, oil, um, port. Uh, Nobody grab a nugget or whatever. You're choose your poison. Let's go into uh, the mythical sauce first. Okay. I, I cut you off. What else? I don't remember. <laughs> that, the, a lot of other lovely ingredients. I think it was like. Is this, is this hot? And... No. Did you explain what was in it? Mm -hmm. I just wasn't listening. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> I asked you, but then I stopped listening. I'm sorry. That was that was wrong. That's fine. I can taste the mole. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. It kind of wasn't bad. I was surprised. Hmm. It's not bad. Yeah. I think it's really just mole and Worcestershire, if I'm being fair. There's other stuff in there, but <laughs> okay. that's the I tried prevailing this taste. Now, can I double dip? Mm. Sure. Uh, okay. Mm. No, I won't. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm going to eat a fry. That one's pretty good, too. Into the gland sauce. Oh, yeah, Monkey gland sauce is just fine. Really? Really just fine. Not bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no? It's got a high note that I do not like. It's kind of like the really? In-N-Out sauce, no. the special sauce in the packet. There's like something up top. Um, I don't know how to describe it. You mean like a sour note? Yeah, like a sour. Oh, there's chutney in it too. Could oh, be the chutney. That's what mm. it is. That's what it is. Because it's got like a f almost fermented... Yeah, and the recipe didn't specify what kind of chutney. It just said fruity, so. You know, like the chutney. We got mango. I'm going back to the mango mole. Mango chutney. I'm going to put a little mythical sauce on a dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that doesn't sound bad. Mostly just because I want to eat a bite of a hot dog because I don't ever eat them anymore. Now, one day we may oh, gosh. actually develop a mythical sauce and we reserve the right to uh, replace this recipe. <laughs> yeah, that, that's fair. I would say don't repeat this. Because it will double as cologne. <laughs> We've said it for years. We want to create a barbecue sauce that also 
works as a cologne. And uh, I'm still holding out hope. Am I alone in this? Do we have something here? But I do like this. I kind of like the consistency. It's I'm not just, bad. No, cool. I like hot dogs. <laughs> That's one thing I remember every, every time I eat them. <laughs> I feel like I've eaten a lot of french fries sitting here. Mm-hmm. Is that right? right? Eat a couple more. Have you guys ever tried to invent sauces on your own? Like, I'm sure that's something you did oh, over yeah. the years. Pretty good with the monkey gland, too. I did it yesterday. Mm. Did yeah, you? <laughs> yesterday? Really? Yeah, I make sandwiches all the time with different, like, stuff that we've got around, and I make a, I like to have a sauce on a sandwich. And so, I'll, um, I mean, a lot of times it's just, like, mixing, like, sriracha into mayonnaise or something like that. You know, it's just something that you could get elsewhere. I, I guess I did that. Like I, I made a panini with pesto sauce and then I added some other stuff. Like I, I, I'm interested in a sauce that starts with pesto. You're interested Anybody in that, huh? Anyone else in the market? Sure. Yeah. To, pesto. 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 It's already a sauce, right? Yeah. Pesto plus something unexpected. Ketchup. But, like, but more exotic. Banana sauce. Is that Oil, your favorite sauce, pesto? Anchovy syrup. I like it a lot. Um, What's pesto, your favorite sauce? Like pesto and sriracha, I'm sure that would be good. Pesto yeah. and relish. If you could only choose one, what would it be? One sauce? Mm -hmm. Like one existing sauce. Yeah, like that, ranch that's all you or could have ketchup. Forever. Oh, forever? Yeah. Peanut butter. Yeah. Is that a sauce? No, the go, if you had to pick an, an actual peanut sauce. sauce. A peanut yeah. sauce, could, I guess that could count. Yeah, that I wouldn't pick that. What about peanuts and pesto? That doesn't sound good. Like, <laughs> there's pine nuts in pesto, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why yeah. not peanuts? Um, I don't know. I mean, you can try it. Oh, oh, I mean, you hit Utah. <laughs> I did hit Utah. No. Uh -oh. Oh. Hawaii! Oh. Hawaii! I mean, when you're not, <laughs> you're throwing randomly at the board, and <laughs> getting excited because I hit something. It's kind of like the lottery. <laughs> you just did the lottery. That's... I don't even know if I can hit the board from here. Well, let's. I mean, I'm gonna see if I can make up for my UK miss. Morgan's gonna move. Oh gosh, <laughs> I'm going for Mongolia. No. Oh. Going for Mongolia again. Oh no. You know what it Mongolia. is? You gotta throw it hard. You wanna hit Mongolia? Oh. <laughs> so back to this. To answer your question, Kevin. <laughs> yep. I don't know. What's your answer? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like ranch a lot. Pretty big on ranch. Yeah, I was going to go say, wrong I'm, ranch. I, I, I'm going to say I might, I might do mayonnaise because mayonnaise really? can be sent mm -hmm. into a lot of different directions. Like ranch can kind of work as mayonnaise. Though. You can't send it in any direction. That's yeah, the rule. Yeah, you got to just have the mayonnaise. Yeah, just the one. Sorry. Oh. It sucks. I know, but you have to pick just one. <laughs> I don't know. I need to do mustard. Dang man, mm. I you think know I might have to I go might with do ranch. mustard too. Actually, you. Ranch steered really? He reminded me how much I like mustard when he Mustard's said Mustard's good, man. <laughs> I forgot. Mustard's good. Did. Nuggets are good, too, as Eddie just demonstrated by coming in here and getting another one. I'm going to eat a nugget on this. <laughs> Do we have any ranch or mustard? Which one would you dip in if you only had one nugget to dip in one thing? I think there's your answer. Ooh. Ranch. Yeah. Ranch. Well, there yeah. you go. There it is. Ranch is a better dipping sauce, but ranch is not a great sauce. Um... I don't feel like it goes as far as being able to put on as many things. Ranch is like mayonnaise with confidence. <laughs> That's why I like it. It's bold. Like mayonnaise is like flat. It's a canvas. It's just a little something to lubricate bread. But you're gonna get tired of ranch because it's bold. The bold taste of ranch. Isn't that their slogan? That would be bullseye. <laughs> <laughs> The big bold taste of bullseye. It's the best. <laughs> yeah. There, nobody. Yeah. <laughs> the big bold taste of ranch. It's like it's like there's a ranch lobby out there that's like. Don't need to stop putting food like this in front of me. <laughs> I like one of those cows that can't stop eating. <laughs> Is there a cow that'll eat itself to death? I think all cows will. Mm. They have second. They have two stomachs, right? They have a second Three, stomach. Three. They have four. They have four. four. Six. Four. They have six. four stomachs. Some of them have eight. Man, yeah. I want that. The lucky ones have eight. <laughs> right. Dachshunds do that too, right? Dachshunds? Yeah. Do Dachshunds. Link has one. You have one. Doesn't well, eat, eat a lot. It. No. Really? No. She doesn't eat much. Hmm. Don't you wish we, well. you we could don't have feed two her? Stomachs, <laughs> no. You could fit more in, and you wouldn't get full as fast. And they yeah. could all digest the same time. It'd be fine. 
I think it would end up feeling like you got one big stomach. That's fine. I like having an extra <laughs> stomach to pull a plug on, to like hit a hit like a part, a drain? hit like touch the middle of my <laughs> belly button, and the second stomach gets activated, and it's only for like <clears throat> cookouts and parties. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh man, I gotta turn my second stomach on this this time. Because you, you still eating? Because you still yeah. gotta digest oh, it. Yeah. Right. And it's, you gotta, you know. I think I think that animal. second stomach needs to be connected to a second GI tract. Somebody <laughs> else's butt. <laughs> no, it's like you have the two whole butts. thing. <laughs> where, where would the other butt go? Like above the other one. I don't well, know. right. If yeah. you just if you just have two <laughs> stomachs and then it goes back into the same like Hawaiian small Hawaiian. intestine, yeah. then you've got a bottleneck, big time. You've not solved the problem. You've created. No, no. One. The problem that I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to increase appetite capacity, like a stomach that can expand to get really big to accommodate a special occasion, like Thanksgiving. But then what? What an hour later when they when both stomachs hit, hit the intestine? Well, it just waits. It's just a matter line, of time. Maybe. It's just a yeah. matter of time. Yeah. It's like a crowded day at Disneyland. Yeah, yeah. It's not like the <laughs> ride stop working. It's Bottleneck. just they take longer. Bottleneck. But they still work. Your dookie ends up becoming like Space Mountain. <laughs> Space Mountain still operates on crowded days at Disneyland. It's just you get to ride it more when there's nobody there. And that ride is so fun too. And if you're Michael Jackson, <laughs> back in the '80s, you just go by yourself for the day. That's like close the whole place. That's down. like being on a juice fast. I feel like we may have lost the analogy somewhere. <laughs> Michael Jackson, Space Mountain. I love Space Mountain so much, though.